after introducing our great God and Savior in this introductory passage, a hymn to the Word, the Apostle John then introduces John the Baptist's testimony of Jesus. Now during the ministry of John the Baptist, the Pharisees had sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to John, who was baptizing in the Judean wilderness to ask of him who he was. And this was John's reply. Let's go back to John chapter 1. I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. So they said to him, Then why are you baptizing, if you are neither the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but among you stands one you do not know, even he who comes after me, the strap of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. These things took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. On the next day he saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks before me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but for this purpose I came baptizing with water that he might be revealed to Israel. And John bore witness. I saw the Spirit descend from heaven like a dove and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water, he said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain. This is he who baptized with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and have borne witness that this is the Son of God. On the next day again, John was standing with two of his disciples, and he looked at Jesus as he walked by and said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What are you seeking? They said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. So they came and saw where Jesus was staying and stayed with him that day. For it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed Jesus was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, Behold, you are Simon, son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. Peter. 